All right, guys, here we go. Here's an excellent way to fillet walleye that I think you're gonna find uh, is simple and clean and, uh, and the best way to go about it. But first, we start with a knife, and you know you need an extremely sharp knife when it comes to filleting fish, but this is a Razor Max from Outdoor Edge. And what's cool about it is it's a replaceable blade. So you can see I've got a short blade right here, but I've got a longer blade right here that will replace this blade and give me more, more blade length for filleting the walleye. So all you gotta do is push the button, pull this blade out, and we'll set it aside over here. And then you take this blade and you push the button and slide this blade in like that. And now I have a seven inch fillet knife blade, perfect for fillet and walleyes and extremely sharp, as in razor sharp, as in be careful people. So we've got a couple walleyes here that we just caught and another good trick we pop the gills out so that the walleyes are completely detached right here. And what they'll do in a very short period of time is bleed out. And then your fillets will be cleaner and your fillet job will be cleaner. So we'll show you how we do one side of this fish. We're gonna do them right here in the campground. Keep it real like we do. And the way I like to do is come in right in behind the, the gill cover, poke it in the fish and slide it down like this, okay? All the way to the spine right here. Now I'm gonna take this fillet knife and I'm gonna go right down the back and I'm just just going to the spine. I'm not going any deeper than the spine, right down the fish, all the way to about there, middle of the fish. Now I can stand this thing up on end and I can start working down the rib cage instead of trying to manhandle all the ribs, which is another way that you can actually go about filleting walleyes. So we're gonna go right down through here and we're gonna do it very carefully because now I'm not trying to cut the ribs. I'm trying to cut the meat off the ribs without having to cut them. And with a knife as sharp as this one is, you can do just that. And you can see, I keep working my way down the rib cage and down the rib cage and be careful. This is not a race, guys. This is how accurate can I be with a knife, not how fast. And keep your fingers away from the outside of the skin and keep peeling it back until you get to the bottom of the rib cage. We'll get them laid flat. Now guys, I'm doing this on a log right here because I want to get these done before we hit the road to go home. I don't want to take them all the way home with the fillets on them. I want to get these fillets iced out as soon as I can. So by cutting all the way around the rib cage like this, now I can go all the way down to the bone and just gently work the fillet knife down, 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 all the way down, working right down each vertebrae until I get to the base like that. Now, two things you can see. One, I haven't missed it. Ribs are all right here. I haven't missed any meat at all. A little bit of belly right there, but there's almost none. I've got a perfect cut all the way down. You see these bones right here, guys. And I've got a perfect fillet right here. Now I can take this the other way, get a hold of the fish. This is where it would be easier if I had a big flat board, but we are at a campground. So we are going to do with what we've got. And by having a rickety sharp knife, I can just keep being slowly but surely down this fillet, even on this uneven surface right here, I can be very careful and I'm gonna end up with a nice clean fillet because I have a very sharp knife to do it with. And as with everything else here at Fishful Thinker, we don't sugarcoat stuff. We are in a campground, we need fish filleted, we're gonna make do with what we have. And this is going to be a pretty tasty walleye fillet, guys. And I'm not putting any pressure on the blade. I'm letting the sharpness of the blade do all the work. And we'll work all the way down until we get all the way to the base. And just like that, I've got a perfect skinless walleye fillet. I'll go through here and pull the rest of these little pin bones that you see right here by making an angular cut all the way down and perfect little Razor Max, guys. So the replaceable fillet knives, I don't have to show you the whole fish. I just wanna show you how sharp that little knife is. You can either sharpen this blade uh, using uh, a regular knife sharpener of some sort or the Edge X Pro that Outdoor uh, Edge makes, or you can just replace the blade quickly as well. It's available in different sizes. So uh, check those out at sportsmans.com or Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools.